July 9, the studio CEO who was accused of sexually harassing Yang Ye Wan and leaking her nude photos was reported to have committed suicide by throwing himself off a bridge. The CEO was facing his sixth interrogation on the day he committed suicide. Back in May, the popular YouTuber, Yang Ye Wan, shared the horrific story of how she was sexually assaulted on multiple occasions by numerous men at a certain studio. Popular YouTuber reveals she was a victim of repeated sexual assault. The video went viral and as a result, her case was eventually posted on the official Blue House website with thousands of Korean citizens signing the petition to conduct a thorough investigation of the case. The number of signatures increased significantly when Suzy openly supported Yang Ye Wan, uploading posts on her SNS account. Ad choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds shortly after the accusations were made. The CEO of the studio defended himself by releasing a series of text messages that indicated Yang Ye Wan voluntarily participated in the nude photo shoots. Netizen opinions began to become divided with many supporters of Yang Ye Wan beginning to doubt the accusations after seeing the text messages. After authorities tracked down one of the men who photographed Yang Ye Wan nude and pressed charges, the studio CEO committed suicide, leaving behind a will claiming that the investigations were not going fairly for him. On July 12, the CEO's body was found in the Han River near Misa Bridge. With confirmation of the CEO's death, Korean citizens have begun to turn on Yang Ye Wan, leaving vicious comments on her YouTube channel and SNS accounts, and have even posted petitions on the official Blue House website, this time demanding thorough investigations and punishment on her. Korean netizens have been continuing the heated debate over the death of the studio's CEO. A young fox killed an innocent man. The fox who took photos for money is the bad one. So is the CEO not at fault at all? According to the investigations, it doesn't look like he's innocent. Just because he left behind a will doesn't mean he's completely innocent. At this point, blaming people for the death of others through comments and petitions seems to be excessive and unimportant. Revealing the crimes that were committed is first and foremost. Anyway, this wouldn't have happened if Yang Ye Wan hadn't uploaded a fake video acting like a victim. If she quietly went to the police and dealt with it, it would have been over with. Instead she acts like the victim to her family, friends and boyfriend in a fake video and made everything worse and then went into hiding. It's unbelievable. She'll be punished someday. So if he commits suicide, he's innocent. Just because the man who passed committed a crime. Doesn't mean Yang Ye Wan committed one too. The CEO committed a crime and Yang Ye Wan was also evil. Leaking the photos was wrong and photographing numerous nude photo shoots for money is also not normal. Super Junior's Ryo Wook reveals which girl groups are most loved by Korean soldiers.